Hi, I'm Corey Anko, an assistant curator here with the Draper Natural History Museum. And today, we're going to be discussing how wilderness depicted here in Albert Bierstadt's 1861 Island Lake painting symbolizes an identity unique to the American West. Thank you for joining us and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content on the American West. When I say wilderness, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Ask a hundred different people and you might get a hundred different answers. But at the core of each response is going to be a scene depicting nature far removed from human impact or alteration. For centuries, the rugged beauty and pristine nature have captured the attention and the imagination of diverse cultures for centuries. We'll explore diverse cultures that were shaped by wilderness, as well as explore what exactly is wilderness. So put on your adventure caps, cause it's adventure time. In 1859, German-American painter Albert Bierstadt accompanied Colonel Frederick Lander into the Wind River Range, which inspired several pieces. This oil-on-canvas painting, completed in 1861, depicts a lake surrounded by mountains and cliffs. In the foreground, trees, shrubs, and grasses grow on a rocky landscape that reaches towards the top of the painting in the right. There's a small waterfall coming off the side of the mountain in the right foreground. The middle ground hosts a large lake with a rocky island in the middle, and the background fades into more prairie and mountains. The sun casts the background and middle ground, especially in a warm yellow light, which was characteristic of paintings at the time. 103 years before Congress passed the Wilderness Act of 1964, Bierstadt was building a reputation on his depictions of the American West. Frequently, these paintings sought to capture an immeasurable beauty that was rarely seen with the human eyes and only found in the Rocky Mountains, inspiring others to come and see these natural landscapes for themselves. In this way, artists and their paintings were the marketeers and the advocates of their day for wildlife and wild lands. Unbeknownst to Bierstadt at the time, his depiction of Island Lake would later become part of the Papoja Wilderness Area after Wyoming passed its own legislation, the Wyoming Wilderness Act of 1984. Natural areas that we've only recently designated as wilderness have sustained diverse cultures for centuries. Indigenous communities such as the Lakota, the Northern Arapaho, the Cheyenne, the Shoshone, the Ute, and the Crow have frequented and lived on these landscapes for thousands of years. Outfitters and backcountry guides saw an industry ripe with opportunities, while hunters and anglers, backpackers, trail runners, climbers, artists, and photographers all saw access to these world-class landscapes. Researchers and natural resource managers took interest in wilderness, seeking to monitor change in landscapes that were unaffected by humans, or so they thought. Each identity may have a different reason for venturing into wilderness, but all share a need for that raw nature that can be provided nowhere else. The scene captured here in Bierstadt's Island Lake painting articulates the five characters of wilderness. The vista overlooks a lake surrounded by mountains, being natural and undeveloped. The region is untrammeled, far removed from the effects of the agricultural revolution that was firmly taking root across North America at the time. The scenic landscape of Island Lake was impressionable enough for Bierstadt to recreate the primitive solitude in what would become a historic painting. Congress passed the Wilderness Act of 1964 and in doing so protected 9.1 million acres of national forest. That's about the combined size of Connecticut and New Jersey. And in the process, they established the Bridger, Teton, Absorca, and Washakie Wilderness Areas. Just 20 years later, Wyoming passed the Wyoming Wilderness Act of 1984, and in the process established the Cloud Peak, Papoja, and Jebediah Smith Wilderness Areas. Today, about 111.5 million acres, or about 5% of the United States, is designated wilderness. More than half of that is in Alaska. Wilderness is the closest experience to witnessing the existence of raw nature beyond the touch of humankind. The character and qualities that define wilderness parallel many themes of the American West. Unbridled, unhindered, vast, abundant, immersive, and difficult to describe yet inherently felt in each and every one of us. Bierstadt's identity as an artist and a painter of the American West reflected an identity 
lured by and drawn to wilderness. While the view from horseback behind a rod or atop a mountain summit may offer a different perspective, I hope this brief foray into wilderness helped to identify the diverse cultures and identities unique to the American West. Take a moment to think about your home and the surrounding environment in which you live. What reminds you of the unbridled nature of wilderness? That's all I have for you today. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content on the American West.